Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Are you live already? Yes, hello. we are. <laughs> hello, that's Mira and Sergey again. From Vancouver, BC. So the weather here is, is wonderful. Beautiful, sunny. Beautiful and... sunny day, yes. Tell us where you are watching from and uh, what is the weather there, what time yeah. is it? What time? <laughs> now is, uh, yeah. here is 11 a.m. Yeah, good evening to the, to the other part of the globe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Um, just comment, ask us question. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to, to answer them, to, to contact you. Mm. So, our life today is about self-sabotaging. Sometimes we all do that. We will help you to recognize the self-sabotaging, to understand it, and to, to rise above it. Uh, actually, what is uh, self-sabotage? Uh, self-sabotage is when we actively or passively take steps for prevent ourselves from reaching our goals. Um, this behavior can affect nearly every aspect of life, uh, be it a relationship, a career goal, or personal goal. There are many reasons why someone may choose to self-sabotage, but many stem from a lack of belief in ourselves. Yeah. With this live session, we'll try to help uh, identify the reasons why we make decisions uh, that prevent us from reaching our goals and to, uh, we will identify <clears throat> how we can rise above it and meet our potential so we can stop self-sabotaging behavior. Yeah. But the first question is, why do we self-sabotage? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, that's the question. So, uh, when we don't believe in ourselves, we cannot achieve our goals. That's for sure. Uh, included in uh, self-confidence is our self-worth. If we um, constantly tell ourselves that we are not smart enough, um, qualified enough, or good enough to have what we want, we will act accordingly uh, what we're telling ourselves, right? Yeah, the way we speak to ourselves matters and directly um, affects how we present ourselves to the to the world when we won't have confidence we will do things to stop ourselves from achieving our fullest potential sometimes we fear success when we have worked so hard for something our successor success can uh, sometimes become a stressor this often happens when uh, we have a lack of self-confidence. Yeah. Our fear of success leads us to engage in behavior that limits our success. When we are getting close to achieving a goal, we may start doing things that stop us from achieving a goal. That's that right? sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes uh, we, we want to place fault elsewhere. Most when, of the times. <laughs> yeah, most of the times, yeah. Uh, when we believe that we aren't uh, going to, to do well or will fail no matter what, uh, we begin um, to, to, to fail no, no matter what. We, we begin behaving in a way that ensures we will fail, mm -hmm. for sure. When we think things like, I, um, I won't get this contracts anyways for example uh, we despise our responsibility in achieving our goals when we do fail because we already um uh, told yeah. yeah told ourselves we would the blame uh, can be transferred to to someone else in most of most cases yeah yeah uh, well how do i know if i'm self-sabotaging Easy peasy, just yeah. ask question yourself. You should consider asking yourself these questions. When you are failing over and over or, or feeling stuck. Okay, the questions are, am I prioritizing instant gratification? 
Am I avoiding what needs to be done? Am I not prioritizing self-care? <laughs> Am I always priority, uh, procrastinating? Uh, am I focusing on self-defeating thoughts? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you could be allowing yourself to engage in self-sabotaging behavior. You need to be honest to your, with yourself and ask yourself if you feel you deserve better and determine what you are afraid of. Uh, once you do this, you may then be able to rise above self-sabotage. Yeah. Hello, Vesi Carolina from Spain. Yeah. Hi, Vesi. How are you? Nice to see you here. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So, uh, we said, how can we rise above self-sabotaging? Yeah, tell us. So, one, <laughs> once we identify why we are exhibiting self-sabotaging behavior, we can then begin take steps to uh, overcome self-sabotage and um, uh, rise above this destructive behavior. Uh, what, what we can do? First, we can make a list of all the things that we are preventing uh, that are preventing you from having what you want it's it's hard to do this list but it's good to make it take time to evaluate why you want this and get real with your goals look at what is truly holding you back um if you are afraid of failure consider listing all the ways you have succeeded in the past Take a look at uh, all the wonderful things you have already achieved. Try to remember uh, what you overcome to get there and work on boosting your self-confidence. Yeah. Well, try to remember that failure is okay too. And it will happen. Absolutely. We cannot always be perfect and mm -hmm. we won't uh, always get what we want. Accepting this shouldn't limit our belief in ourselves, but should uh, instead guide us to understand that we should keep working on ourselves and open up uh, for the new opportunities. Yeah, that's correct. If you don't feel worthy, um, like, like maybe uh, if you don't feel worthy, maybe it's time to, to focus on self-care. Stop focusing actually on um, what you're doing wrong because this won't it's help for, nothing, for right? sure. It's for nothing. Yeah. And work on recognizing what you do right. Focus on uh, giving yourself time to relax, eat well, and get sleep. And have a glass of wine as well. <laughs> yeah. Something stronger sometimes. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. You need to feel good about yourself to move past your fears. Make yourself a priority because uh, by prioritizing yourself, uh, you will uh, this will help you to, to boost your self-confidence and allow you to be uh, allow you uh, to be better equipped to face your fear and move beyond self-sabotage. We are very proud that our business program, uh, helps thousands of everyday people to develop not only their online business, but their own personal skills and confidence as well. Yeah. If you're afraid to start your own digital business in nowadays, because this is just perfect time to start Absolutely, an yeah. online business, uh, maybe this is uh, uh, because you self-sabotaging yourself by thinking that you're not tech-savvy, you have no previous experience working online, or you're not smart enough, etc. Just name it. That's why we invite you to our 90 minutes complimentary work session, which will start today at... Um, 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is uh, 6 p.m. Mountain time and 8 p.m. Eastern time. To have an access to see uh, to, to see our uh, yeah, webinar, to, just to register at uh, www.sergeyconsta.com. 
uh, with your names and email, and we will send you more information. Hi, Veli. Hi, Veli. Uh, yeah, we will send you more information when you register with your names and email. Uh, this will help you to stop self-sabotaging behavior. If you missed our live seminar, just don't worry. We'll send you a link uh, for a re replay. Thanks for watching us today, guys. Yeah, that's all from us for uh, today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Feel free to share our video with your friends. And remember, the only way to predict your future is to, to create, create it. it. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Bye-bye. We'll see you next week. All the best.